So many dogs, so many mutts, and people love them. And chances are, if you've adopted a shelter dog, it is a mixed breed. And even if you think you know what your dog is, how can you really be sure? The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin says you don't have to go to the vet to find out. It's called Wisdom Panel Insights, and it's a doggy DNA do-it-yourself kit. You can find out what your new adorable adoptable is right there in the comfort of your own home. They're so darn cute, but what in the heck are they? He's got some traits of the kind of the terrier breeds, too. Um, but I would think Chihuahua would be one of the ones I definitely would say. Even Humane Society veterinarian Dr. Carla Bard had to make a best guess. Till this, the doggy DNA kit you can do yourself at home. There are two um, swabs here. They're like little brushes. Um, you do want to use both of them um, just in case one doesn't have enough of the cheek cells that they need. A little swab on the inside of Gunner's cheeks, dry it out, mail it off, and in three weeks we'll know if he's all chihuahua. But looks can be deceiving. Yummy in the tummy. Just ask Kristen Levine, who adopted what she thought was a lab mix nearly two years ago. He had the short snout, the slick black coat. He, he really did look like a lab. So imagine her surprise when the DNA test revealed Chili is anything but a lab. Chili is a Siberian Husky and Australian Shepherd cross, crossed with a Boxer and a Dalmatian. Would you have ever thought that? I never in a million years would have guessed any one of those four. But it also explains a lot. He doesn't like to swim. He won't retrieve. And now we know why. Even the head of the Humane Society was in the dark about the little guy she adopted. I really thought he was a hound, like a beagley hound terrier mix is what I thought. Henry, as it turns out, is part Cocker Spaniel. He's a Cocker Spaniel rat terrier mix. And I don't see, Cynthia, any Cocker Spaniel in him at all. But what she does see, what we all see in our little furry Heinz 57s, is their lovability. And now we can know more about their genealogy, too. It's, it's informative for folks and for people that give shelter animals a second chance, and so many of our animals are mixed breed. It's just that added thing, knowing a little bit more information, and it's fun. Besides explaining some behaviors your dog might have, the test can also help you be on the lookout for breed-specific diseases or medical issues that could come up. And you can buy it online or at the big pet supply stores. By the way, Gunner has turned out to be mostly Chihuahua with a Tibetan Spaniel thrown in, and he was adopted. Guys? <laughs> <laughs> Tibetan Spaniel, long way from home. Beth, thanks.